just as among patients there's a lot of old urban legends about gout, the same thing is true for clinicians. There's a lot of kind of what I call old school thinking about how to treat gout, and that is way out of date. There's been an extraordinary amount of research, epidemiologic, clinical, talking about a very reasonable way to manage gout. There are guidelines that have just been published and are about to be published that can really assist clinicians in getting their patients to the goal of having their uric acids be below six and being flare free without old toxic approaches and old difficult to take regimens. So I really encourage clinicians to you know be up to date on these clinical practice guidelines. They're out there, they're about to be out there, and um, taking advantage of them really, you know, brings you into 21st century practice. For somebody that doesn't have gout, it's important to know if they're hyperuricemic, especially if they have these other medical conditions. And it should be monitored maybe every 6 to 12 months over time as they treat their other medical problems, their diabetes, their heart disease, obesity, the uric acid level may improve and it would be important to know that. On the other hand, it may get worse as these conditions worsen and so for those reasons, I think it's important that the doctor keep track of it.